Yo, this is your boy McNasty, and you're watching the cover on RDHT. Said the ladies, they love me. From the bleachers, they screaming. All the ballers is bouncing. They like the way I be leaning. All the rappers be hating. Hope the trap that I'm making. But all the hustlers, they love it just to see one of us make it. Said the ladies, they love me. From the bleachers, they screaming. All the ballers is bouncing. They like the way I be leaning. All the rappers be hating. Hope the trap that I'm making. But all the hustlers, they love it just to see one of us make it. Said the ladies, they love me. From the bleachers, they screaming. All the ballers is bouncing. They like the way I be leaning. All the rappers be hating. Hope the trap that I'm making, but all the hustlers they love it just to see one of us make it. Yo, this is McNasty. Um, I'm a drummer, I'm a DJ, and I mix them both together. And you hear that one drum DJ thing going on? So yeah, that's that's my vibe, really. Uh, yeah, um, I've been in the industry from the age of 15. Uh, started with Daniel Bedingfield. Um, played with his sister. Um, also, Jamelia. A lot of people like back then. Um, and then, like, as it's got to like around this time now, it's been with like Tiny and Wretch, Devlin, all those kind of people there. So, yeah, man, it's, it's been a good run. Um, I've got a lot of friends that have like, always been in the music industry playing with different artists and stuff like that. Um, so it was just a case of, yo Josh, like, can you come and dep for me on this gig because I can't make it. And then somebody seen me and then they referred me to another gig and then another and another and another. Do you know what I mean? So it's just about being kind of like being on shows and kind of like doing my best so that I can get another call from somebody else. Um, and my name just kind of got around. Um, I, I just got a crazy passion for music. Um, it's just something that I live and breathe. I don't know what else I would do without it. I think I'd most probably die or just be on the street somewhere. It keeps me off the road. It's kept me out of a lot of trouble. Um, and it's the only thing that keeps me sane, you know what I mean? That, that's where I find myself, my whole self at 100% when I'm doing my music. The view on the music industry as it stands right now, um, I feel like it's kind of lost the essence of real music and real musicianship, and that's the reason why I'm, I'm here. Like I've decided to kind of like stop playing for people and just being in the background and become a frontman, where I'm at the front of the stage with my drums, which is a real instrument, and. And like not knocking the whole kind of electronic side, but trying to fuse it together so that the live element is still there. And that's what I've decided to do with my thing, um, with this McNasty experience thing. Um, and I just feel like the music industry just kind of like needs that. Like, you know, it's not just about DJs and it's not just about people coming to do PAs, but like having the drums, bass and guitar and stuff like that, you know, is quite important. So. You know, yeah, I'm trying to bring it back to that old school Motown feel, you know. A normal DJ, he's got turntables. Um, and the way I DJ, I use my electronic drum pads. So basically, my electronic drum pads are supposed to have drum sounds in it. But instead of that, I've just put like songs on there so I can like bring in songs that you're familiar with, take them out start them, stop them, and just kind of, I've got like six pads, whereas a DJ would have normally just two decks. So my decks, if you like, I've got six of them, and I can like mix six tunes all at one time, and just make a like, a big ambience of music. And also, when I play, it sounds like a big live band, whereas a DJ, when he plays, you know, it's a bit more smaller, yeah, so. The impact I think that it's going to have, and I think that it's actually having, is that like, it's very different, it's very fresh, no one's ever done it before. Um, and I think it just brings that live element to the clubs. So, whereas, you know, you've got a lot of people that like to go clubbing and stuff like that, um, they'll get to experience a live feel. And it's been brought to their club. And then if you go to a festival, you know, 
or a live show somewhere, then almost like the club is brought to that fest to that festival, to that live show. Do you know what I mean? So people just feel like, okay, they're getting the best of both worlds. Like, no one really does that. And then also as well, the way it's just kind of put across, the way I, the way I put my songs together and everything. It doesn't, like, if I play, I don't know, like, a Swedish house mafia tune, it doesn't sound like the normal one that you hear on the radio, like, it sounds like a different variation. Um, but it's just that it's got a live element and the way it kind of, I would cut things in, maybe bring in some, I don't know, like, crazy dubstep in there and just all kinds of stuff. So it's just done in a very different way. Nah, man, it's, it's all about live. You got you got to do live. Live, you, the experience and the emotion and the feeling of, of live is very different to, you know, a PA, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's, it's just a different, it's just a whole different thing, man, you know what I mean? Yeah, working with Tiny Temper was quite amazing. Doing all of his live shows, organizing all of his like musical direction on the thing, on, on the shows and stuff like that was a good experience. Uh, working with Rich, that was another good experience as well. Um, Lab's, Lab's always been very, very, very good at what he does. Um, yeah, he's, he's very musical as well. He plays all, all different kinds of instruments. So that was always good and he felt like he was just pushing you and stretching you. Um, but uh, there's been some like old school people that I've played with as well. Like Jocelyn Brown, that was really fun. Like getting that whole old school kind of like Aretha Franklin kind of mentality. Do you know what I mean? And just kind of playing with that whole mindset of like, just keep the groove going. So that, because that's where the energy is. It's not necessarily about the chops and the stuff like that. So it's been quite a few good experiences. And then playing with Natasha Bedingfield, that was just like, play the CD, don't play anything else. So that worked on my discipline. So um, yeah, like playing with all of these people has been a great experience because I've learned different things along the time, you know what I mean, so. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, I'm just looking to take over the world, man. Like. Um, a lot of people don't know that I sing um, and I produce as well um, so I'm not just like a musician I suppose if you want to like pull it into a nutshell you could call me the new Quincy Jones of this age you know Quincy was a musician he was a producer he was a writer um, all into one so yeah man that's me man well don't expect very much if you don't put the work in. Like, it's all about you. Don't expect a record label to like make it happen for you just because they're a record label. And don't expect to have a record label and you don't want to do the rest kind of thing. Like, it's, it's all about you. It's all about what you feel. And you got to be true to yourself, I suppose, as well. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, like, I think a lot of people just get kind of like, deluded by what the industry is, do you know what I mean? It's, it's hard working. Um, and also as well, being being great at your craft, whether you play keyboards, drums, whether you sing, you're a writer, whatever it is, you gotta make sure that you're on top of your game, you know what I mean? Um, you're only as good as your last job, so you gotta make things happen, like, you know? And keep it going, you gotta be, always be on your toes. Uh, you can catch me on Twitter, uh, McNasty Music, M C K N A S T Y Music. Um, catch me on Facebook as well, uh, YouTube. Um, yeah, just all of your general sites, networking sites. Yeah, just catch me on there. I like talking a lot. Um, so yeah, man, you can catch me on there, and I will follow, man. Uh, yeah man, big up everyone that is uh, trying to make something happen for themselves this year. All of the people that ain't trying to be lazy. You know, shout out to those. And um, yeah man, uh, shout out to the, my family, my wife, lovely babes, umpa, my kids. Yeah, all of that. <laughs> Alright. Cool. <laughs>